After a week of endless speculation looking over Mr. Sakurai's presentation, Min Min is finally here, debuting as the first character in Fighters Pass Volume 2. Although we've all had limited time with the character, there's plenty of useful information and ideas that we can gather already, and in this video we'll give you an in-depth look at everything we know about Min Min so far. But first, we can't forget our question of the day. We asked you all what tier you'd put Min Min into based on the presentation, but now that she's actually here in our hands, where do you rank this new fighter? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video to hear our current impressions. For continually updated info on Min Min, check out ProGuides.com to be the first to watch our exclusive character guides. While you're there, you can check out guides on every character in the game, as well as specialized course programs taught by pro players such as MK Leo himself. And that's not all. Our InstaPro platform connects you to on-demand coaches who can teach you everything you need to know. If that wasn't enough, we have a jam-packed live stream schedule on our website and right here on our YouTube channel. Our free YouTube classes go live weekdays at 12 p.m. PST, so subscribe and click that bell to make sure you never miss them. So let's get right into Min Min. From what we've seen and played so far, Min Min seems like a very safe character who excels at a distance. She has many unique options and useful mix-ups to fight and avoid opponents who get up close as well. Let's take a look at Min Min's entire moveset and share some insight on the applications of each attack. A quick note before we start, it seems that the most optimal control setting for Min Min is to set your C-Stick to Special. This will allow you to use the C-Stick for the right arm, which is the swappable one, and will most likely be used very often. Alright, starting with the Quick Press Jab. This attack starts on frame 5, but since it's activated any time that the input is released within the first 6 frames, it will be much slower if you hold A for too long. The jab has a rapid variety which deals 16% and a 3 hit which deals 12. You probably won't find yourself using quick jab too often, but it is one of Min Min's fastest options up close. Next we have down tilt. D tilt sweeps low across the ground dealing 6 damage and starting on frame 10. Not only is this move effective for avoiding aerials and crossing up shields, but it has relatively low end lag and can combo into up tilt, up smash, up air and nair at low percents. Min Min's up tilt is a kick that swoops above her head. It comes out very fast at frame 5 and deals 6 damage. This move is one of Min Min's best up close options and can be very useful for thwarting aerial approaches. It's too slow to combo out of, but puts your opponent in a situation where they'll need to think fast in order to avoid a follow up. The hitbox is also very generous, covering the area in front of, above, and behind Min Min. Her dash attack actually resembles a very common neutral air animation, and lunges in with a kick attack. This move comes out on frame 7, dealing 12% when sweet spotted and 10 for the sour spot. It's too laggy to combo out of, but dash attack knocks your opponent at a fairly low angle, setting up for potential tech chases or edge guards. Since most of your gameplay will be retreating and creating space, dash attack offers a mix up to enter your opponent's space aggressively when they've let their guard down. Next, Min Min's down smash is a typical split kick that hits on both sides. It comes out on frame 6 with the sweet spot dealing 19% and the sour spot dealing 16. The sweet spot is pretty strong too, killing it around 100 near ledge. You can use this move as a close quarters get off me tool at high percents, or use it as a parry punish as it is Min Min's fastest KO option. For her last grounded kick attack, Min Min's up smash is a jumping somersault kick. It comes out blazing fast at frame 7, one frame faster than Fox's up smash, and deals a whopping 20%. This up smash is easily one of Min Min's best attacks. It hits very high above her and KOs as early as 110. Like up tilt, it's another great anti-aerial tool as well as an amazing out of shield option. That's not even everything though. Min Min's legs are intangible during the active frames and this move doubles as a reflector, surely a contender for one of the best up smashes in the game. Finally, we move on to talk about the arm punches. Min Min's held jab, forward tilt, forward air, and back air are all the same attack. When initiated on the ground, they can be angled up or down, and once a punch is thrown, Min Min has a few options. She can walk forward or backward, jump with full mobility, or throw out a right arm punch or smash. Her right arm functions exactly the same as the left, except it is controlled with the B button and the arm choice can be swapped. Understanding the arm change mechanic is essential before we talk about the punch attacks, as each attack has three variants. By using Down Special, you can cycle between the Ram Ram, Megawatt, and Dragon for the right arm. Each choice has unique properties and will offer specific benefits. We'll start each move with the Dragon, as this is permanently used for Min Min's left arm. Dragon Punch deals 10 damage and comes out on frame 14. 
When walking forward, Dragon Punch will true combo into any right arm tilt or smash at low percents, the Megawatt Smash dealing the most damage. At mid percents, you can still connect a Dragon Smash or Megawatt Tilt. Ram Ram Punch has the largest angle flexibility and has a second hit that covers more vertical range. It also comes out on frame 14 and deals 6 damage with an additional 3 damage dealt by the ring. At low percents, Ram Ram Punch can combo into Dragon Tilt, but at higher percents, Dragon Smash becomes a true follow-up and even a kill confirmed. Lastly, the Megawatt Punch is slower, stronger, and has less angle ability. Although it travels slower, the Megawatt still comes out on frame 14 and deals 13 damage. It will combo into Dragon Tilt or Smash at 0%, which can be finished with Dragon Laser, which we'll cover in just a bit. Since it's pretty strong, Megawatt Punch won't combo into anything at higher percents, but becomes a decent KO option off stage or near ledge. Now for the Smash attacks. Min Min's forward smash can be performed in the air, and like her tilt punches, she can perform another smash or tilt with the opposite arm while swinging, but she cannot jump or walk during smash attacks. Starting with the dragon, dragon smash comes out on frame 16 and deals 20 damage sweet spotted and 15 with the sour spot. A unique property of the dragon is that you can continue holding or repress A to fire a laser after smash punching. The laser deals an additional 8 damage and increases this move's range and active window. At low percent, close range dragon smash can combo into any arm tilt or smash. Once again, go for megawatt smash for max damage. One more unique aspect of the left dragon is that it charges up for a brief period of time after Min Min completes a throw. When charged, the dragon attacks deal slightly more damage and significantly greater knockback. Now for Ram Ram Smashes. This also comes out on frame 16 with a sweet spot dealing 15, sour spot dealing 12, and the same 3 damage ring attack. Thanks to its range, Ram Ram Smash can be an effective edge guarding option. Like the tilt variation, Ram Ram Smash only combos into Dragon Tilt at low percent, but at high percents kill confirms into Dragon Smash. The Megawatt Smash is very powerful. As is the trend, it comes out on frame 16, dealing 26 damage sweet spotted and 23 sour spotted. At low percents, this will combo into Dragon Smash and can kill as low as 75%. Let's move on to Min Min's aerials. Her forward and back air were already covered with the arm punches, so we'll start with neutral air. Nair uses her arms as well, so we have three variants. Dragon Nair starts on frame 10, dealing around 10 damage. It has relatively low landing lag, comboing into down tilt and dash attack at low percent. At mid percents, it can also link into Ram Ram Smash or any tilt punch. Ram Ram Nair is the fastest, coming out on frame 8, and it deals 6 damage. This can also combo into D tilt at low percent and Ram Ram or Dragon Smash at mid percents. And now for the big boy. Megawatt Nair comes out on frame 14 and deals around 15 damage. This move has tons of early percent combo potential. For an optimized setup, go for walk forward megawatt tilt into dragon smash with the laser. You might have to angle both the smash and the laser, so make sure to practice this one. Min Min's remaining aerials are kicks. Up air is a flip kick that comes out very fast on frame 7. It deals only 6 to 8 damage and acts mostly as an anti-air, but you can get some simple conversions out of a landing up air. Down air is a stall and fall dive kick. It comes out on frame 15 and has an initial spike hitbox, although using this offstage will likely lead to an SD. It's best reserved as a risky landing mix-up. Min Min actually has two different up specials. On the ground, she performs Arms Jump, which propels her upwards with intangibility starting on frame 8. This move has no hitbox, but allows Min Min to act out of it, making it a decent escape option that can be used out of shield. Holding B will make this travel higher, and it can be angled as well. In the air, her up special is Arm Hook, a tether recovery with a bit less range than similar tethers. If the tether hits the opponent, it will deal 11 damage and can sometimes KO. We'll round off Min Min's moveset with her throws. For starters, she has a huge range on her grab despite its slow 18 frame startup. None of her throws have any combo potential, but back throw deals a whopping 17 damage. Back throw also kills at around 120 at ledge, and up throw kills around 160. Considering she gets the dragon power up for landing a throw, this makes her grab game pretty rewarding. So looking at all of this info, Min Min seems to be a character with a lot of depth and already has a very strong keep away game on the surface. Optimized setups with Charged Dragon may lead to extremely early kill confirms, and Min Min's combo game in general seems reliable and versatile. She still will struggle against fast, aggressive characters, but has enough tools to counter these weaknesses. We look forward to seeing everything Min Min can do as time goes on. I've been your host, G5Cosmos of Game 5 Smash. Make sure to subscribe to Pro Guides and click that bell to keep up with all of our uploads.